Jesus, in nomine Patris, Filii, and Spiritus Sancti. Come. You look beautiful, like a young girl. God has taken her passport. Aunt Louisa, I'm here. I made Therese, I leave 100 francs and my silver tea service, which she frequently admired. Mm -hmm. To Madame Soretsky and the faithful members of the Church of Celestial Spirits, I leave my pipe organ that restless spirits may console themselves with music. <clears throat> and uh, to my nephew Passepartout, who has been a beloved son to me, I leave the remainder of all my worldly possessions. Beloved son. I don't believe that he'd betray our own agents. Seemed rather proud of his treachery. When he was arrested, he boasted that the French had paid him a tidy fortune. Richard, he's modest to a fault. I don't know what the world of espionage is coming to. In the past month, at least six agents have betrayed their respective countries. Where are you holding him? Here in the embassy. I've got him under constant watch. I don't want him hanging himself before I get the chance to do it for him. Madame Zaretsky. Oh, thank you, Therese. How kind. Thank you. Thank you, Therese. Well, Passepartout, this house may not be in the most fashionable district of Paris, but I still think it should fetch a pretty penny. You think so? Yes, I do. Unless, of course, you decide to live in it yourself. Oh, I, I already live someplace. Yes, uh, as a manservant. I mean, you, you might want a manservant of your own now. A valet with his own valet? I'm afraid, sir, I have to disappoint you. Your aunt had to mortgage the house to make ends meet. What little capital is left should just about cover her outstanding debts. You hear that, master? Yes. I can be still your valet. Yeah. Well, it's selfish of me, of course, but... Yeah, well. Passepartout, I'm delighted to hear it. <laughs> mm. Cheers. Okay. Cheers, master. 
I don't remember a thing. I wish I had a more convincing story, but I don't. Well, maybe you better make one up. I have saved your life on two occasions. You've saved mine on three. If you don't believe me, Rebecca... I... Oh, look, if it's any consolation... None of our people was hurt. But you have to try and remember something. Yeah, what's the last thing you do remember? Music hall in Chelsea. I was sitting next to my wife, watching that woman who talks to spooks, um, Madame Soretsky. That's it. When was it? Uh, it was a Friday, the 12th. My wife had lost her mother ten years before to the day. That, that's why she dragged me there. Was there anything unusual about the performance? The whole thing was bloody odd, if you ask me. <laughs> a grotesque voice came out of this woman's mouth. The hairs on my neck stand on end. And that's it. You remember nothing since that day? Not till I woke up here. It not look too good, does it? Passport to Kamensky. 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 This is my friend Jules. Uh, Enchanted. So clearly with ethereal body. Mm. Yeah. Come. I know. Come. We just make a blend of Steve to Trump's spirit. Mm -hmm. Yes, but as a man of science, I tend to prefer the term. Dr. Draco. Yes? And do I know you, young man? Uh, uh, Jules Verne. I heard your lecture on the neurological use of hypnosis at the University of Paris. Ah. I trust I was not too dull. No, no. Fascinating. I'm, uh, surprised to see you here. Ah, uh, yes. Well, Madame Zaretsky has been helping me with my investigations into the nature of the preconscious mind. Well, uh, before we sit down, well, we have to rid our mind of uh, fear because the spirit uh, needs our hearts to be open so so come 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 sit down we do this <sighs> hmm. oh come to me spirit oh, and share through me Oh, the wisdom of the eternal realm. Is Louisa there? May we speak to her, please? This is not my auntie. That which betrayed me. <laughs> but even the dead suffer. <gasps> Run, Paspatu. Escape while you still can. Oh, auntie. <gasps> I shall visit on her all the flaming vermin of hell. Leave her. I will live. She's mine! Let her go! All right, that's enough! 
Spare me the theatrics. It was him. You should be ashamed of yourself exploding a poor man's grief. Oh, I admit I occasionally have the embellish the work of the spirits, but oh, this visitation, this was real. This was real. <laughs> 